Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so today I thought I would share with you a couple of my tips and tricks, and I think they're the same as a lot of beauty um, gurus out there, I guess you could say. And, um, you know, we don't all wake up with, like, really long hair and long lashes and, um, you know, everything like that. That there's a lot of work and a lot of little tricks um, that go into making you look refreshed and ready for the day. Um, so one of the first things I like to talk about is extensions. Here we go. Um, so most of the beauty gurus that you see, um, we have extensions. We put them in our hair to make our hair look longer, blonder, fuller. Uh, so when you see beauty gurus with long, luscious locks, um, or myself, majority of the time, it is extensions. There is nothing wrong with extensions at all. Um, I know Sally's Beauty carries them for about 100 I have the Bellamy, I have the SKR, and Luxie. And I'll put those links below if you would like to um, try them out. Next is lashes. So if it's not hair, it's lashes. Get yourself some stellar mascara duos. The beauty world has been obsessed with mixing, obsessed with mi mixing mascaras. One to make your lashes grow, one to make them look longer, fuller, and more glamorous. The beauty um, duo I'm using right now is the Organic Wear and the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. I love this one. This one's eh. I recently bought the YouTube Phenomenal Duo that everybody's been using. The Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless is what I have here, and the Voluminous Carbon Black. So this is going to make your lashes grow, apparently, and this is going to make them just look flawless. So, um, mascara, and then of course, if that doesn't work, there's always lashes, girl. Um, most to every beauty girl you probably see, as well as myself, um, wears false lashes. I only wear lashes, to be honest with you, on special occasions or when I'm doing a tutorial that calls from them. I really like the accent lashes, you know, just the half ones. Ardell is my favorite brand, and I have these natural ones. They just make your eyes look more awake, um, fuller, more glamorous. Nobody has those long, gorgeous lashes. Majority of the time when you're looking at somebody on camera, you're like, my God, where are those lashes from? They're usually full. But if you don't have them, you can fake it. Next is concealer. Um, I had the CoverGirl Simply Ageless here, and then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've also had the NYX um, HD Photogenic Concealer, which I heard is a lot like the MAC Pro Longwear. You know, not all of us get our beauty rest, and one of my biggest um, tricks for making myself look more awake is a concealer underneath my eyes. A little bit lighter than my natural skin color because it gives that brightening and that popping effect. And then putting, like, this is my CoverGirl... No. Excuse me. Well, Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And this stuff is a miracle worker, you guys. I know I've raved about this, but putting this over your concealer, you will erase your dark circles. You'll look brighter. Your face will look more awake. Um, even just using the powder when I'm in a, a brush, phenomenal. It just really does the trick. And um, I look more refreshed and ready to start the day. If you are looking for... Like how Kim Kardashian... How Kim Kardashian gets that kind of wow effect under her um, eyes. You're not only going to use a lighter concealer, but also a brightener. And this is the Age Rewind by Maybelline in Brightener Illuminator. And this one I use only for special occasions. It is a pink undertone, and my eyes are super bright. Um, but for everyday use, I just like using a concealer um, underneath there because my eyes, I just look better, <laughs> more awake. Next is a foundation face trick, whether it be a matte foundation, this is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet, which just gives me a beautiful, flawless matte look, or the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I love this because it gives me that glow, so you can skip highlighter, you can even skip blush if you just want to put this on, and bronzer, which is what I usually do, and go. You just have a more polished, easy look. So foundation is another trick that kind of gives everybody that beautiful, um, perfection, flawless 
type of look on camera or even the CoverGirl 3-in-1. This is a great drugstore foundation because it's a concealer, it's a primer, it's a foundation all in one and you have just that perfect skin type of look because let's face it, nobody has perfect skin. The beauty trick is primers. Um, this is my absolute favorite primer, the Benefit Pro Professional, excuse me. It's a pro bomb to minimize the appearance of pores. I put this all over my face and literally my whole face looks smooth. It's the kind of primer that like in an emergency situation you could always have this in your bag and put all over your face and you don't even need that much foundation girl because this stuff, your face it just blurs lines, imperfections, marks, anything. And this is another beauty trick that helps your foundation last all day and just helps to make everybody on camera or out there's face look um, totally airproof, blemish free. So don't always think that it's, oh, it's just a foundation and no. definitely a good primer makes all the difference in your foundation and um, your face. On that same note, an eye primer. Um, my eyes crease like crazy. I think a lot of people do it throughout the day. This helps the eyeshadow color um, in your eyeshadow palette stand out. It helps it stick in one area and it helps your eyeshadow last all day. So with a face primer, um, I definitely recommend an eye primer to help you be looking fresh. Oh gosh, the power button. That's right, how we get it looking like it is this huge, fabulous type of bun. Um, I think they're called the chinoise or the donuts. Um, right here, this is it. Very easy, you can find these at Claire's, you can find these at Ulta. I have two or three of these that keep one in my travel bag. And when you don't feel like doing your hair, or your hair is not cooperating, this is the trick to put yourself on camera and film like I am doing now. Um, it just makes you look like you have more volume in your hair. And, you know, like you're rocking it. Next is a tan. We don't all look tan every day of our lives throughout the year. Self tanner. This is the Tarte Brazilian. This is a great self tanner. This is like the sample size. I think they have one coming up on QVC that is like much bigger than normal. Get yourself a self tanner. Don't hit those tanning beds. Beauty gurus tell you all the time this is what they're wearing. It's self tanner. Um, and in helping with the face, I have the Physician's Formula. What the heck? Here's something exploded. Actually, I don't know what Your face tan. My face never gets as tan as my body. It's never the same color. This is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster, the Glow Boosting BB Cream. How do you get your face to look so tan? This is it. Um, just a beautiful color. It's um, well, it's not natural because nothing on YouTube is. It's a definitely a darker um, color, but it is um, the perfect. Self, face self tanning to mix with any foundation to make you look like you have that healthy, natural, tanned glow, even though my shampoo. When you don't have time to wash your hair, this is my favorite. It is powder. I like it better than the aerosol. Um, I spray a little no drop in my hair and then just put it in my roots and ready to go. Dry shampoo is another thing. You don't have to shower every single day. Some people don't like dry shampoos. If you don't, try the powder forms. They're a whole different um, experience. Uh, yeah. Volume. We all don't have massive volume in our hair all the time. Some great tricks. This is the Got To Be Fantastic Instant Collagen. This is the L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. Both of these are going to give you whoop, power, crazy hair everywhere. Height, volume when you blow dry your hair and it's all done. I spray some of this in here. We don't all wake up with bouncing voluminous hair. So when you see me with my voluminous hair, it's this. And I like this on second or third day here. This gives you a ton of volume. And it's one of those, like, if you're going to do, like, a pompadour or a mohawk, this is something you want to use. Very powerful stuff. The um, Osis. Osis. I always say this wrong. Dust it mattifying powder. When I'm wearing my extensions, I don't want my wefts to be showing. I want it to look like I've washed my hair and have a little volume because usually I haven't. Let's face it. 
So putting a little bit of this powder on like you would a dry shampoo and voila, I get height, I get volume the way I want. It looks like I tease my hair without teasing my hair. I hate teasing my hair. It doesn't tease well. I don't tease it right. My hair is not in that super great part that people have when they tease it and they look like Bridget Berto or something. I look a hot mess. I'm going to tell you that right now. So this is my secret to teasing my hair. Really bronzed or contouring thing or contouring um, face. You see that a lot on YouTube. Not really a secret, just a lot of practice and get yourself some good contouring powder. This is Kevin O'Coin bronzer and this is the sculpting powder in medium. This takes a lot of work and you want it to, I mean this is from Physicians Formula. I know that NARS and what is it, MAC have a brush that they make like this. I eventually want to try it. And this is just where you're sculpting um, in your hollows of your cheek here. And you just have to have the right brush and the right sculpting powder. You want to have a cool toned bronzer, okay? That's what's really going to give you those hollowed out defined cheeks that you see. I know you guys know what I'm talking about because you're like, how do they get so tan? How do they sculpt? Really, just make your life easier. I don't know if you're going to tell the difference right now because I know the lighting is all kinds of cray. But, that's what you guys... You know, get yourself a sculpting powder, try it out. It's that contoured look. You're having a contour like bronzer. Even just faking it, you can use a cream contour bronzer. You know, I've talked about the Maybelline Fit Me Stick. And go ahead and hollow it out like you just saw me do with this or put a brush on and do it. Um, and then warm it up with a powdered bronzer. It's going to give you the same kind of effect. If you don't want to spend on a sculpting powder or that's not really your style, Try a cream contour. It's going to give you an even more bronze look than what you normally would have. So, yeah, those are all the beauty secrets. I've been wanting to do this video for a while that I could think of um, that I see beauty grooves wear and I'm always wondering how they have those beautiful lashes or that long hair or, God, their skin is flawless. Um, it's primers, it's foundations, the sculpting, it's again, it's the right powder, it's the right brush, it's the practice, so, um, you know, everybody that looks tan on there, it, it, you will, they always tell you it's a self-tanner. So, um, these are some of the tricks that I use and the tips that I suggest that you guys um, try out, and they have tried, tested, and true for me, um, and yeah, just little tips and tricks um, to get you through the week and to know that... Um, Usually a lot goes into looking um, like Beyonce, right? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. I'm going to be doing a video coming up of my um, summer essentials. Summer is coming up in a couple of weeks. I have been trying out some fabulous um, sunscreens and after sun lotions and foundations and all kinds of good stuff. So. Um, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful week.